<laughs> Hello and welcome to Higher Deep Dish. Yes, this is the show where we try weird slices of pizza and chat about an aspect of faith. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like the video, and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Um, we are joined this week by Sammy from Soulbox. How are Hi you doing? Jim. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm well. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm wearing my Christmas jumper. I like very Christmas. Uh, this is our Christmas episode of Higher Ooh. Deep Dish. We're chatting today about uh, the theme of kind of being chosen by God and what does that mean? What does that look like um, in everyday life? Since it's Christmas, okay. uh, we're, all the toppings on the pizzas are going to be Christmas oh, themed. Oh, right, so uh, The Ooh. first, the first slice of pizza is the pigs and blankets pizza. Oh, so we have put pigs and blankets on a piece of pizza. That's simple. Do you want to show it to the pizza cam for me? Yes, I shall do. And uh, show it to the pizza cam. So as you can see, I think I caught it a little bit. So I think it might be overcooked. It's good. It's true. Very dry. Very dry. Well, that's all right about my mouth. Joseph, you've knocked it out of the park with this one. This is really nice. What are you going to give that out of 10? Solid 9.0. Whoa! Mm -hmm. That, I'm gonna go for a nine. Don't think it's quite at the 9.8 level. Um, all right, so like I said before, we're chatting about this theme of um, being chosen by God, which is actually, feels like a bit of a weird kind of theme or topic, or like, what does that even mean? What does it mean to be kind of chosen by God? The only thing deeper than the dish is the, is the question. Oh, that, that should be our tagline. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Higher Deep Dish, where the only thing deeper than the dish are the questions. <laughs> no, it's good. I think this idea of being chosen by God for me, mm. I love it because um, that's, it's, it's literally that, it's that simple. I believe that every single person has been chosen by God. Um, I believe that God has created every single person uh, with, with a life that has the potential to have so much meaning yeah. and so much purpose and has given us um, unique giftings, each person um, to be able to fulfill something that he has planned for them. So I think anybody who feels like, oh, I can't really do anything or oh, I can't do something because of my circumstance or the way that I am or whatever, I actually think, I wonder if you realize that God has actually chosen you. Wow. To, he's put you in that particular circumstance or given you those particular quirks and, and gifts for a reason. Yeah. That's what I think. That's really interesting. Uh, like, I think a lot of times you hear Christians talking about like their calling or mm. like God called me to mm. something. Is that like a similar sort of thing to the chosen thing? Yeah, I think so. I feel like God has created each individual person yeah. with a God-given purpose on earth. Okay. And, and it's different for, for, for everyone. Some things are universal. Yeah. Like, you know, we do this kind of stuff because as Christians, we believe that everybody is chosen and called to go and spread the message of Jesus, yeah. to, to tell people about Jesus' love for them and, and what he's done, what his death and his mm. resurrection means for each person. That's, that's a universal calling that everybody has been sort of like given. Um, but then everyone also has these individual things that I genuinely believe God has just given to that person. So. I can't drum like you. I've tried, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. But like there are these individual things yeah. and giftings that I feel like God has given each That's person, cool. like chosen them for that thing. Um, all right, should we go on to our second slice yes, of pizza? Yes, let's do it. So I like to do starter main and dessert for this. So our starter oh. is the pigs and blankets okay. and our main is, um, so it's Yorkshire pudding, Oh yeah, a turkey slice, and cranberry sauce oh on a pizza. Oh my gosh, I love cranberry sauce. Could you show that to the pizza cam yes, for I me can. so we can see that? All right, I'm genuinely excited mm, about this, this one. Good. Let's do it. Christmas dinner on a pizza. Mm. Mm. It's all right. I'm underwhelmed, I was expecting more, you know? I was expecting great things. Mm. Um, what are you giving that out of 10? First one was 9.8. That is a four for me. Whoa! Wow, that's quite a jump. It's because if I just had it without no. having built up the hype in my mind, right, yeah. I'd give it a 6.5. But I really built it above yeah. the, the, the pigs and blankets. Uh, I'm going to give that uh, a six. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was all right. I thought it was too much cranberry. That's what it was, and it needed it needed of another element. We've been chatting about being kind of chosen by God and calling and stuff. What would you say 
in your life that God's kind of chosen you to do? Or in other words, like, what would you say your calling is? It is it like one thing, or do you think it's loads of little things? Oh my gosh, I love so many things. Yeah. I love so many things. I'm passionate about so many different things. Mm. But when I was younger, one of the things that I really wanted to do was music. Yeah. Um, and for the longest time, it wasn't for like the right reasons. It was just I loved Beyonce. I wanted to be like Beyonce when who I grew up. Who doesn't? I know love who Beyonce. doesn't. Like, the you queen. did as well, didn't the queen. you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but then I started to look in the media and I, I was seeing different musicians and mm. I loved acting as well when I was younger and I was like, oh, a lot of people who get really up there, they don't look like me. Mm. Um, like I'm, I'm a dark skinned black girl and I was looking at, to all these people who were like fair skinned and white and I was like, oh, maybe I'll never be able to do the things that I love because of the way that I look mm. and because of the circumstances that I've been given in my life. Like I was saying before, you, you get born into different circumstances or there's just things about you and you're a bit like, oh, I, maybe I could never get there because mm. of the way that I look. And I battled with that for so long, if I'm completely honest, like that I have ups and downs and, and down days with, yeah. with identity and the way that I look sometimes. But when I became a Christian at 18, I started reading these things in the Bible mm. and it talked about how God had created me on purpose, like for a purpose. At the beginning of the Bible Sick. in Genesis, yeah. I was like, oh, I made you in my image. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? Like. God is amazing, he's great, he's He's everything that is good, I genuinely believe comes from him. Mm. So being made in his image as a dark skinned African girl, like that's good. And and I'm, I'm called to reflect his goodness. Yeah. And then I, I read a little bit further in the New Testament part of the Bible and it said, um, I was Christ's masterpiece. So when I became a Christian, I became part of his masterpiece, so cool. like his masterpiece yeah. plan that he has for the world. And in that, it talks about how he created me long ago before I was even born to fulfill these good things. Yeah. But for that masterpiece plan to have happened, for me to be able to live out my calling and my purpose, God is like, you needed to be a dark skinned black African girl. Sick. You needed to, yeah. to love singing and acting and, and talking. I can talk for days. You can. Yeah. You needed to love all of these things and, and, and I needed to put all these things in as a part of you because that is the plan that I have for you. And it's a good thing. Sick. It's not a bad thing. It's actually something that is amazing that you get to take into the world. Um, and that's my that's been like my journey, understanding yeah. calling and all that. Uh, brilliant. Shall we try the final pizza pizza? I love mince pies. So Ooh. I thought I've never had a mince pie pizza. So Ooh. it's time for a mince pie pizza. Do you want to show that to the pizza cam for I me? I do Sammy. want to show it to the pizza cam for you. All right. I'm scared. <laughs> that is good. Mm. The way that the mince hits the cheese, which you would think is gross. <laughs> Which if I think about it too much, I think it's gross. Don't think about but it too you just, much. you just close your eyes and it all comes together. Yeah, I'd give that an eight. Well, that was pretty good. I'd give it a seven. Yeah. you give that a seven out of ten? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good going. That's surprising. Uh, that's it for this episode of Higher Deep Dish. If you've got any questions about today, um, why don't you DM us on Instagram at The Higher Talk, or you can put uh, a comment below and we'll get back to you. Um, if you want to find out a little bit more about calling and kind of being chosen by God too, we did um, an episode of What's the Point a while ago, which talks a bit about that and what a calling is in your life. Um, you can check that out again in the description below. Sammy, anything else to say? Get some pigs and blanket pizza. Get some pigs and blanket pizza. Yeah. We hope you have a really, really great Christmas and we'll be back soon. See ya.